Holy Spirit, let's get it. What does the collective need to be aware of? Okay, let's see. Ten of Swords. Somebody's going through some type of defeat. Rock bottom. Mm -mm -mm. They had a meeting about this. This song is getting my attention. In, in the background, my family's playing it. Uh, somebody could be... Who is that again? Somebody, I don't know. They are, somebody could be Latino. I don't know. And we have the letter P. Alright. I think she's Puerto Rican. That's not, not Natasha. Somebody could be Natasha. Somebody could be named Natasha. Nati. And I forgot who's the other girl on that song. Alright. So, the letter P could be significant. They, they, they had a meeting. And they're talking about this. They're like, yo, why the spell work didn't work? You could be seeing 1010, which is like, you know, an ending here. They're like, what the fuck? Why are we defeated? Why this shit ain't working? Look, we have people trying that they were trying to steal your mail. All right. Whatever they were trying to do, it didn't work. All right. Look, for some of y'all, unfortunately, they were trying to spiritually attack your children. That ain't working. Your kids are protected. You are protected. So, yeah, not working. Tell me more. For some of y'all, these people was already stealing your mail, and now they're going to get caught up. They're not able to do this no more. Because, again, this Ten of Swords is how we started this. You know, like, they they getting defeated. Shit ain't working like they thought. They stressed. Tell me more. They was funneling money through a church. What? What's going on here? <laughs> we out here finding money through a church. All right, they was warned not to do this. They did it anyway. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else? Wow, let's see. All right, you're going to get your Cinderella story. I just said you could be seeing 1010, right? There's an ending happening here. Cinderella story, all right? You could be Cinderella, all right? You're going to get your story, all right, King? You got this, all right? We have here that these people are being watched by the police. They're under surveillance, okay? They, again, we have here they was funneling money through a church. They thought they was going to get away with it. And Spirit is showing us here that they, they ain't going to get away with it. Yo, you cannot make this up, yo. They are under investigation. And I was talking about family right now. That could have been the thing, too. Like, I'm like, the song, the music my family's playing? Nah, it's my family. You know, like, that's, that's the Spirit wanting you to know that your family is on some bullshit. All right? And they're under investigation. They was being watched the whole time. All right? We have here, finally got the DNA test done. And they found out that it ain't their kid. Somebody, you was waiting for this person to get a DNA test. You told them it wasn't their child. They didn't want to believe you, whatever. Confirmation. All right? Confirmation. You could be seeing 666 as well. Somebody could be born in 66. You could be seeing, like I said, 1010, 77, 777. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else? So these people are on the investigation. They thought they were going to get away with it. Yeah, look, I just said you could be seeing 666. A Gemini could be significant. Uh, a Cancer could be significant. June could be significant. Tell me more. We have here the whole group is under judgment. What is going on, Holy Spirit? 622 on the clock right now. You could be seeing 222. Two, two. Like I said earlier, I don't know if y'all seen the post that I've been seeing 222 two, two all day. Judgment is coming. Balance is being restored. The scales of justice are being balanced. All right. They got they got they they found a little bit too long. It's, it's time to pay up. That's what's happening here. It's time to pay up. The, the letter A could be significant. Tell me more. I'm hype right now. Libra. Somebody could be a Libra. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else? If I'm not seeing the comments, I just don't want to get distracted, y'all. I'm hype. <laughs> like the live, though. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. Somebody, yeah, I said somebody could be born in 66. I don't know if that, if that you know, do the math. It could be somebody in their 50s, their 60s. All right, but we got 40 and 50s uh, year old here. Tell me more. All right, could be an older person. All right, so look, we have here, I mean, no, this could be you. Shout out to you, all right? Whatever, it is what it is, all right? <laughs> so we have here, uh, courts will contact you. So you see, again, there's definitely something going on with these people being on the investigation, all right? People were stealing your mail, all right? They had a, a meeting, and they found out that they're going to get exposed. This ten of swords also could signify getting locked up, you know? That's the, the you know, the cell right there, the bars, Okay, the uh, Ten of Swords 
is also like i said hitting rock bottom the ending you know it's over it's done done finito you know what i'm saying so this is what they was trying to avoid they wanted to keep on funding money through a church for some of y'all it wasn't a church it could have been anything you know it could be anything all right uh they've been having a lot of restaurants they've been opening up around here that don't be they don't be succeeding and i was joking about that the other day i'm like that was some money laundering shit that wasn't no restaurant <laughs> confirmation all right it could be a restaurant a hair salon whatever all right so what's this we have the uh, nine of swords okay in the reverse so that's telling me that they are really really going through some type of uh anxiety stress okay uh again they was i don't know if this card came out but we saw it earlier okay they were trying to attack your child that's not working you are protected your children are protected as well all right we have the letter s that could be significant and they was assigned to weaken your divine protection so i mentioned this in the uh in the last uh karmic reading that these karmics they are assigned to us like they really get paid they're on on a payroll and they have them working the clock you know they have them especially in the witching hours from three to five in the morning they have them working from that time they have others that work you know different times around the clock and they get paid to weaken our protection to attack us I'm telling you, like I said last time, this is an organization. It's not just a little kitchen witch playing with the bippity bopping in the kitchen. This is something else. This is something bigger because they need all these people to attack us. They cannot take us down. And guess what? Even after they get all these people, they still ain't taking us down. So they trying it though. All right. They trying it. All right. They need people. They need to pay people to sit down somewhere and, and have no life and just sit there doing their little bippity bopping against us all day. All right. ADA could be significant. All right. Let's see what else. Yeah, look, somebody's stressed and pressed. I told you. They pressed because they sat there all day doing nothing else with their life, ignoring their children, whatever they're doing, just bippity-bopping at all hours. Look, you cannot make this up. <laughs> you, you cannot make this up. they doing spells and they put in your name, your picture, whatever, uh, graveyard, dirt, pee, Look it up right here, right here on TikTok. Look up jar spells and you're going to get, you're going to get an eyeful. You're going to see a whole bunch of videos. All right. This is what they're doing. Jar spells. All right. Trying to keep you trapped. Trying to keep you stuck. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Look, I said somebody was older, right? Confirmation. All right. They could be older than you. You could be 40 to 50 and they older than you. And they want you to self-sabotage. They want you to basically, you know, just uh, lose out, you know, on whatever it is that you have coming in for you. All right. Let's see what else. All the karmics, are they all going to be turning on each other. I just saw right now when I went like this, I don't know, somewhere right here. FBI, there you go. Confirmation. The FBI is involved in this this police investigation that they're in that they're being watched that we have the courts calling you about something that they're doing and they're all going to turn on each other if they haven't already we picked up on this in the last karmic reading that uh they there was there was people uh you know making uh statements they was taking people in taking them in for questioning and guess what happened they all snitched on each other karma it's time okay let's see what else there's no loyalty amongst thieves absolutely not they wasn't loyal to us family members lovers friends whatever they're not going to be loyal to each other tell me more holy spirit all right we have a few cards let's see spying they could be spying on you because they're seeing that the spells ain't working spying through 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 divination getting readings done uh or they are spying you know online or even watching you we have an underage girl that is involved in this we have here uh insurance fraud auto life or home insurance fraud we picked up on that in the other reading that there was a karmic trying to get married with you, having a, a life insurance policy out on you, wanting to kill you and all that to cash in on your death. Crazy. All right. Somebody's talking to the ops, your enemies, the opposition. OK, they're working with each other. The letter R and look, arrest warrants have been issued. They're not say that they was uh, they was all called in and look. They didn't want to get locked up. They took them in. They made statements and they snitched on each other. So grab your popcorn. It's about to get interesting. Okay. Let's see what else. Let's pull from here. Holy Spirit, tell, tell us more. What's going on? Look, friends and family. This family energy keeps coming out. It said also friends that could be like family. Friends that you grew up with. I just saw lengthily amount of time. I'm telling you, they're going to get locked up. 
We have here, they try to steal your spiritual inheritance. Okay, um, you could be working on a project or several projects. Uh, you could be from the projects, okay? But this person, they tried to steal uh, your ideas, your spiritual inheritance. You know, like you had ideas that was going to manifest a lot of money. They try to steal that, you know, ideas for projects. That's for some of y'all. If you own a business or you have multiple streams of income, these projects, they was going to help you to manifest. They tried to steal that. That's part of your inheritance. Uh, for some of y'all, the spiritual inheritance, you know, it could be an actual inheritance. For some of y'all, there is money that they left for you in a will. You know, take it how it resonates for your situation. It's a collective reading, all right? But spiritual inheritance, a lot of us have the spiritual inheritance. After we, yeah, just saw North Node. When we, After we close out the cycle, yeah, look, because a lot of us are psychics, okay? Or, and if you're not a psychic, psychic just means that you are in tune, you know, with the universe, you are, you, your intuition is very, you know, spot on. All right. Your discernment is very sharp. You know what I'm saying? So psychic doesn't have to be like, you know, Miss Cleo or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a psychic, but you are too. All right. My collective, we are all, you know, reflections of each other. So you are a psychic. You have a spiritual inheritance. All right. Even if you haven't developed your gifts fully yet, you are in tune. All right. So yeah, that's what I'm getting with workplace. Some of you, you work, you know, like me, like your job is to be a psychic, all right? And they was trying to take your spiritual inheritance, you know? They were trying to take this from you, all right? So we get to the spiritual inheritance by healing, you know, by releasing the energies that do not serve us. That's how we get there, all right? Uh, and these people, they were trying to take it, like take it from, you know, right under our nose before we got there. That's what they were trying to do. Tell me more. And that's, and that's true with, I'm going to do that again. That's true with the projects. You know, they be in the dream state, stealing our ideas and shit. I know that sounds crazy, y'all. I be feeling funny talking about that because I be like, yo, like, it just sounds so silly to me. But that shit is real. They be stealing people's ideas and, you know, just weird shit that they be doing in the dream state. All right. So we have somebody has a dirty dingling or a dirty pom pom. All right. For some of y'all, like I said, too, the inheritance could be physical, you know, because I'm seeing insurance fraud and all that. All right, they don't want to see you win. They dirty. They playing dirty. Yeah, they playing dirty. All right, they trying to re up right now and trying to do more spell work, but it ain't gonna work. Let's see. All right, let's see what we got here. These people are going broke. All right, trying to do this spell work on you. All right, in two to four weeks, they they about to be experiencing something let's clarify that let's see what's gonna happen look in two to four weeks you're gonna be in your destiny in your path what is two to four weeks from now that's a month from now so in september things are gonna be changing holy spirit clarify what is two to four weeks it's not gonna be the same for everybody y'all it's a collective reading but we're gonna see what we get what's in two to four weeks all right let's see Ten of cups, y'all. Look, forward movement. You're going to get this. This is the inheritance too. You know, the happiness, the family. Uh, it says here, dreams come true. All right? So, like I said, next month, things are going to change. Things are going to move forward. With the chariot, you moving forward. All right? Like I said, destiny. You getting right on track. These people were trying to avoid you. Yeah, with this strength card. Yo, you cannot make this up. With this strength card and this three... Of cups in the reverse, right behind this chariot, they were trying to have a, they were trying to have control, domination over you. this group of people right here. They were trying to have a control and domination over your forward movement. All right, you see how it says here, force. You know, opposing forces, victory. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want you to be emotionally balanced. They didn't want you to have mental control. They've been attacking us for the longest, wanting us to be thrown the fuck off, lost in the sauce again self-sabotaging behavior okay going back to that they wanted us to self-sabotage okay so these people they was avoiding that and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna happen no matter what all right in two to four weeks expect change from hap uh expect change to happen all right and i've been doing a lot of personal readings y'all and definitely it's something about next month that is, is, a, is a, sh a shift coming in we have the uh, aa portal like i said ada could be significant so that that could be what's going on with that there's a shift happening here all right tell me more holy spirit like it says there destiny you know this is destiny it's meant to happen no matter what you know this whole game it was just to set these people up that's it they should have never bit the bait they stole from us 
spiritually, physically, they did the absolute most, and now they're going to pay for that shit. All right, continue to stand 10 toes down, exactly, because look, again, more confirmation within a, within a few weeks, shit is going to change for the better, okay? Stand 10 toes down. Don't let these people throw you off balance in any way. Get out in nature, raise the vibration, stay focused, ground yourself, because this is not just a physical thing, this is a spiritual war, okay? They're trying to throw you off. We saw they don't want you to have mental control, physical control. They want you lost, all right? We have a ladies' man for some of y'all... <laughs> Is a ladies' man, you know, uh, a karmic masculine that he's spiritually stalking you, all right? He's getting readings done on you, trying to see if this shit is working, all right? Trying to have domination over you. For some of y'all, you know, if you're a masculine, flip it. It's a promiscuous girl, okay? Promiscuous girl, <laughs> okay? We have here, loving yourself includes accepting the things that you cannot change while working towards the things that you can, all right? So... Spirit is saying, that's what you did. You decided to love yourself. You focused on yourself. You accepted that you cannot change certain people, certain situations. And you just focus on changing what you can change, which is your energy, blocking all these energies, doing what you got to do, healing and all that shit. All right. So good job. Keep doing that. All right. We have here hate messages from fake pages. If somebody's messaging you from a fake page, talking crazy, this is one of these karmic lovers. It could be this guy right here or the promiscuous girl that is mad and they mad that you are loving yourself. Okay. They're mad that you are moving away from this energy. You're not dealing with this. Okay. We have local news and we have here, watch out for feathers. These are signs from spirit. Some of y'all, like I said, with the angel numbers, you could be seeing angel numbers. You could be seeing, uh, uh, you know, um, feathers. You could be hearing certain songs, uh, overhearing people say certain things, you know, seeing a lot of different signs. And it's just confirmation that you are in alignment, all right, and that things are going to change soon, you know. So continue to stand 10 toes down. Don't give in, okay? We have a frivolous or flighty person who is easily manipulated, all right? So that one of the words came up right now in the... Uh, the dictionary thing that I got. So, you know, maybe they think they thought that you was easily manipulated, you know, standing 10 toes, that you're not going to stand 10 toes down. There you go. Like they thought you wasn't going to do that. And that's what you're doing. You surprise them. Surprise, bitch. All right. For some of y'all, you could have been in a trauma bond relationship with this person. All right. We have here local news. So something could probably end up being on the local news with these people uh, having the FBI involved, you know, all this funneling money and all this weird shit that they doing. You probably, for some of y'all, you're going to hear about this on the local news. All right. Or on the blogs or something. Tell me more. We have indecisive. Bottom of the deck planning. Somebody's trying to plan something, but they're indecisive right now. Tell me more. Wow, we have a child sacrifice. Again, they keep on trying to attack somebody's child. You could have an underage girl. You could have a child as a girl. We have a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn is doing this. All right. We have occupation. This could be somebody from your job or somebody attacking what you do for a living. Because again, we keep getting this energy about workplace or what you do for a living. They're attacking that. They don't want you to... um. To be able to manifest, okay? We have here in the bottom, the karmic is mad that he's in love with you. <laughs> so we have a karmic here who's mad, okay? She's mad. Let's see. She's attacking you, okay? She's mad that he that he is in love with you, all right? So she could be somebody that is uh, attacking what you do for a living, all right? A Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, that could be you or them. We have here picture perfect image. So with look, we have karmic knows she's going to jail. She's paying a witch not to get locked up. <laughs> confirmation all right she's we talking about a karmic here who was scamming doing something strange for Luffy to change and she's about to get locked up this could be who's on the investigation so she's paying a witch so that it doesn't it doesn't you know it doesn't happen all right but it's gonna happen they could delay it all they want but it's gonna happen so with picture perfect image this could be somebody who's trying to keep up a picture perfect image but they're not in no picture perfect nothing they are scam yeah look it ain't nothing picture perfect about a, a, a betrayal a cheater all right yo you cannot make this up yo <laughs> That's exactly what I got with this picture perfect. Like this karmic is mad that he's in love with you, right? But she's really mad that she cannot keep up this image that she she was putting up, you know, on social media. All right. But behind the scenes, she had a damn dating profile and she cheated. Flip the roles. He, whatever you want to do. But they're mad that somebody's in love with you. But when they had this person, they didn't know how to keep them. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, look what they're doing. See what I'm saying? Like, it's just something about looks. Tell me more, Holy Spirit.
Yeah, look, once out, somebody wants to abandon the situation. They don't want to deal with this no more. Yeah, look. <laughs> marriage counseling, I'm telling you. Like, they don't want no marriage counseling. They're like, yo, I'm out of here. I don't want to deal with this shit. Let's see. We have the letter O. Yo, you cannot make this up. Marriage constantly giving up. This person does not want to work on this no more. They don't want to deal with this karmic. They could have been, you know, I've been picking up on an energy. They've been on the love spells this whole time. And the love spells are not working. Okay. So let's see what else we get. Let's pull some cards from here. Tell me more Holy Spirit. What else? We have in denial. Okay. Somebody was in denial. Yeah, they wasn't seen clearly what they are now. All right, we have here somebody who wears veneers is involved in this. And uh, we have a GMC vehicle, all right, the letter V. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Like the live, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, all right. They could have saw something on the ring camera. All right, I just, I just posted a video about that. If you follow me on Instagram, that there was a karmic that uh the guy and i was even talking about it being a truck driver that i said that in another reading that he's a truck driver or something like that when he's working she had dudes coming over and he he was recording her on not on the ring camera but he had a hidden camera in the house and she had mad dudes coming in the house it's crazy and he was working providing for her dusty ass i can't say that on here so whatever we have here busted with drugs look and under the influence somebody was under the influence and they got busted with drugs in their living room, all right? <laughs> Are they going to? <laughs> Are they going to get busted with drugs in their living room? Tell me more. Restraining order needed. Some And again, this uh, ring camera. Somebody saw something on the ring camera. And they, gonna, they got a restraining order <clears throat> on this karmic. Or they need to get one. Tell me more. They're cloaking their energy. Wow, look at this. We have unsuspecting enemies, people that you are not expecting, is trying to do something spiritually to you because they're trying to cloak their energy. But God is saying that you are covered by God. Never worry. All right. So there's something going on with that. Yeah, there's Jezebel. All right. So, uh, you could look up the story with Samson and his hair. And there was a Jezebel back in those times. There's always going to be a karmic. In every lifetime, in that time, in this time, in the biblical time, there's always going to be a Karmisha. Let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. A crazy psycho chick. Yeah, in every lifetime, <laughs> there's going to be a karmic. There's going to be a crazy psycho chick, even in that lifetime. All right. So look, we got Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have another one. We have an Earth sign masculine now, all right? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, okay? Tell me more. The coven wants to recruit you because judgment is coming down on them hard. Do you see this, y'all? Do you see this? So they're getting karma, this coven, all right? It's a group of witches and warlocks, a family, whatever they are, religion, whatever, but they do voodoo and they try to take you out. They was helping this karmic, it ain't working. Now they're like, well, we don't want this karmic. We want this divine being. We want the collective, you know, we want chill, all right? Like this person got power. We want this person, but we don't work with these type of people, all right? We work with God only, all right? Fuck out of here. All right, they're getting karma. Tell me more. Somebody, pff, look, I said the karmic was fucking somebody, right? Look, you cannot make this up, yo. We got the karmic turned on the divine masculine. They're fucking their cousin. <laughs> and it says also a karmic family member turned on divine masculine. And it's his cousin. His cousin, his homie, whoever he acts like is his cousin. This dude right here. That, yeah, that dude. Him. And it's funny because in the reading I did this morning... The blue jay came to my window and I said the guy's name could be Jay, you know, like J-A-Y or maybe his name starts with a J. Go check that reading out. I'm going to have to post it uh, after this. I didn't post it on TikTok, but I did it on, it's on YouTube and on Instagram. And this guy, it could be named a, a J name. Either the karmic's name starts with a J or he does. All right. And he found out that the karmic is, is, was having S-E-X with their cousin or with their roommate. Tell me more. What is this? 
<gasps> oh my god <laughs> yo like oh no look at this you cannot make this up yo do you, yo like oh no look at this you cannot make this up yo do you stress he could be getting a drink right now look 32 somebody could be 32 years old but 32 is five five is change this person is going through a bad change i don't even notice there's an angel back there do you see that person sitting back there with wings this person that could even be the karmic like them dumb wings are fading or something i don't know but it could be an angel like the angel was like listen i told you not to do it and you did it anyways you did it anyways you nasty dog look at that dog i didn't even see all of that in this picture you nasty dog how dare you go ahead and smash Carmisha and turn on the divine masculine who's your family or, or who's your homie? How dare you? And look now, look now what happened. You got karma. That was his angel turning his back on him, telling him, I tried to warn you. You didn't listen. And now look, now you're burning because you decided to betray. And didn't I say earlier, there's no loyalty amongst thieves, right? Confirmation. He went and he smashed this psycho chick. And now he's burning. That's his karma. That's what you call instant karma. Instant karma. Look, you cannot make this up. He's a snake. That's a snake energy right there. He or she. Take it how it resonates, all right? Carmisha, Carmelo, they out here. These years could be significant. Somebody could be born one of these years or something could have happened. Like the live, y'all. Thank you very much. Yes, grab the popcorn. What's good? All right, let's see what else. So, yeah, that's what's going on. A car wash could be significant. Somebody could own one. Wow, look at this. Sleeping with the enemy. He was sleeping with the enemy. The enemy got eight. So he probably, he, he's, he's away from the enemy because we know that the mind masculine, he dodged the bullet with that. Okay, what else was this? They got caught stalking your social media. Somebody got caught stalking your social media. It could be him. Or it could be the karmic, the psycho. Tell me more. That is instant karma, y'all. Now he burning. Now they burning together. Yeah, him and this calculated person. All right? Like I said, flip the rolls. Tell me more. Somebody has a Ford vehicle. Okay. Ford truck or Ford car, whatever. We got GMC here as well. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Or car, whatever. We got GMC here as well. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Calling off the wedding. She smashed the homie. The cuzzo. The roommate. She did it and now she's burning. They burning like, bro. He ain't marrying this karmic. This could be you that I'm talking to. Stay away from this karmic because mm -mm, they burning. Yo, look at that. Friend of me. I don't know if this friend of me is dying. But look, we got this friend of me. That's his energy. That's not your friend. Dying in threes. Now, it don't mean everybody going to drop dead. It could be dying like different ways. The money, the pockets. You know, he's going to go broke. It could be, you know, he's going to be in jail. Or he's going to pass away. But somebody's friend of me is going gonna, is gonna to pay for that. That could. This is right here. You know, this could be a, a death right here. A, a way that somebody's dying, you know. If you if you have this, you know, I'm sorry. But, you know, that could be another way that the, a death is happening here. You know, it's over for that. For his freedom, you know. Look, divorce court. So, for some of y'all, this person is already married. And they're going to get a divorce. For some of y'all, they're engaged. And they're calling off the wedding. This is a collective reading. This is a collective of divine masculines that were stuck in a karmic cycle for a while. And now they're awakening. Now they're like, whoa, 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 hold on. The voodoo ain't working no more. They seen clearly they, they out of here. They're walking away. So that's why it's like different energies here. All right. Some, some of them was caught in a marriage. Some of them was, <laughs> they dodged the bullet. They was engaged to the karmic. They was about to lock in into a marriage and lose it all. And they didn't do it. They called off the wedding. Tell me more. Okay. You are covered by God. Absolutely. We have here the seven of swords. Okay. So the seven of swords in tarot is like a thief. Uh, like I said, no honor amongst these. It could be a spiritual thief. It could be, uh, you know, a, a physical, you know, thief. It could be both. Uh, this, this is also, uh, you know, sneaky 
on the handy behavior, sneaking around. Tell me more. <clears throat> wow. And look, seven again. You could be seeing seven, seven, seven. You could be seeing that. You could be born on the seventh. You could be um, born in July. You could be a, a Cancer, a Leo. All right. This could be, be right now. Like, you know, maybe you found out about this in Leo season. You just found out about this. All right, you just found out about this. I'm giving you confirmation. You probably felt be right now. Like, you know, maybe you found out about this in Leo season. You just found out about this. All right, you just found out about this. I'm giving you confirmation. You probably felt me. Yo, this is the energy I've been picking up on all day. That is so crazy. I picked up on that in the reading earlier. We have here, while you're out of town for work. Yo, didn't I just say this, y'all? I, I be forgetting I made these cards. Look at that. While you're out of town for work. That's exactly what I said. Look, this person got information about what happened while they was out of town for work. Like I said, the video that I posted that the, the car makes, she had a whole bunch of dudes coming in and out her house, and he was recording her from inside the house. Not the ring camera. It was a camera he set up in the house, and he saw all them dudes coming in while he was out of town for work. That's crazy. And like I said earlier, that a J could be significant as well. That J, that letter J, blue J, whatever, it keeps coming out. And look, we have the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Swords talks about information. So this card in the reverse, he found out the information about what she was doing that she was lying about, all right? Or he, like I said, flipped the roles. But the truth is being revealed about what was going on while this person was at work. This person could be a rapper, a singer, or somebody in the industry. Uh, this is the person that we're talking about, the Divine Masculine, or this could be who she's cheating with. We saw the other day that the karmic was, was uh, dealing with a struggling rapper. We don't got the struggling rapper card with this one. This is a rapper, a singer, or someone in the industry. So this is not somebody who's struggling. All right? She couldn't resist this one. She took, you know, she took the opportunity, and she got caught slipping. Look at that. It says their life depends on this. Yo, you see what I'm saying? She was like, I'm going to get this one. I'm going to lock this one down. And look what happened. Whoever she was smashing, he found out. Tell me more. If it's not a rapper, it could be somebody who's in the Marines or somebody is, that's in the Marines is involved in this. All right. We have here somebody trying to frame you. We have here a cancer uh, or somebody's getting cancer. It says here the disease, not the sign. Okay. So somebody is getting cancer. This could be because they was doing something, sending some type of sickness, illness, death spells, whatever, and it's going back to them. Now with this female coworker, this could be, uh, again, something kept coming about uh, occupation, Okay, trying to sabotage a project, okay, and um, workplace. So this is, again, something about, for some of y'all, this is a, a female co-worker that we're tapping into, all right? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. We have here dismantled. Whatever she was trying to do, that shit got blocked, okay, dismantled. We have here court, all right? So somebody's going to be going to court. We got a little lion there. So, again, it could be happening now in Leo season, all right? Something about court. We have 23, so change, five. Some type of change is happening regarding court. Whatever they were trying to do in court, if they were trying to do something in court, it got dismantled. Tell me more. You know, like it didn't go in their favor. We have here the raccoon, and you will reap what you sow. So with the raccoon, it's like, again, the seven of swords energy. That's why I wrote the raccoon. Like 10, 10. They about to experience some type of ending. They're going to reap what they sow for what they were trying to do. Because raccoons are like, you know, little bandits. They're all sneaky, you know. I kept seeing that. Like, you know, a raccoon kept coming up in my window around three to four. So that was letting me know that um that's what they were trying to do, trying to steal around those times. All right, look. Letter G. Okay. Somebody's involved with the letter G. Tell me more. Whoa. Okay. Again, J. A lot of J energy. We have here, they're jealous of your job, your creativity, and the way that you easily make money. Mm-hmm. Again, something that you do, your project, something that you do for work. For some of y'all, I said that you a psychic like me, and you do, you do this, and they mad. They jealous. We saw the other day they kept attacking what you do online, so they mad. All right, we have here the car wash. So I said somebody has a car wash. All right, you could have a car wash. You could work at a car wash. <clears throat> I need some water. Hold on. You see what I'm saying? They mad. They probably attacking right now. Like, fuck out of here, ho. But they mad. And um, with car wash, you know, like I said, you could work at one. Look, and we got the Marines. You could be a Marines. You could work at a car wash, something like that, okay? Or something. This could be even the, 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 the business 
that we saw from the beginning that they was funneling money through this business. All right, doing some type of uh, scheming. All right, it don't have to be a church. For some of y'all, it's a church. For some of y'all, it's a car wash. Like I said, for some of y'all, it's the salon. You know, like a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Like just mad random shit that these people doing. And they was being watched by the police the whole time. And now they're about to read what they have sold. And we saw that for some of y'all, it's going to end up on the news. All right, so let's pull from this deck. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Hey, y'all. Like the live. Thank you. All right, let's see. N or Z could be significant. All right, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Whoa. They're re reaping what they have sold. I just said that right now, right? There was another card that says that right here. You will, yo, that is so funny. You will reap what you have sold. And Spirit is saying, <laughs> double confirmation. You're going to reap what you have sold. <laughs> tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. A pastor? Yo, and I said that somebody was funneling money through a church. Look at the pastor coming through. A karmic pastor. Yes, they out here. They out here. All right, look, packing up and leaving. This karmic pastor could be part of this secret society. Like for not, what I said from the beginning, it's a secret society. It's an organization. And they do voodoo. And this, these people, they need a whole bunch of people to try to take us down. And they still not going to do it. So this pastor could be part of this. He could be a, a mason. All right, not everybody that's a mason is evil, but we got evil ones right here. Okay, and we have packing up and leaving. That's again, going back to this masculine and leaving. You know, not wanting to deal with this karmic, not wanting to go to no damn marriage counseling, relationship counseling, none of that shit. This person want to go. They out of here. Tell me more. Look, you cannot make this up. This person does not want to deal with this shit. He's out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So we got a HIPAA law violation. Somebody got fired. Somebody that works in the hospital, a nurse, doctor, whatever. They violated by showing or giving somebody your information. This came out the other day. I talked about it. That uh, the girl posted the, the other girl's results about something all over Twitter or something like that. And she beat her ass. You know what I'm saying? So here, you know, this could be what's going on. Somebody was giving your information to somebody. Somebody that works at the hospital, at the, the doctor's office, wherever they work. And they're going to get fired because they did that. You can even sue that person. We have here, yeah, look, a one-night stand. Maybe somebody got, again, when they got AIDS, because they had this one-night stand with the karmic, maybe somebody, maybe somebody told somebody, like, yeah, she got AIDS. I don't know, but those two cards coming out together is wild. All right, we have here community service. Yo, that is crazy. That's what the karmics be doing, what they ding a ling or what they poom poom, community service. So, look, one-night stand, community service, and then HIPAA. They got caught. Somebody told somebody their, their results. All right, somebody in your family is involved in this. For some of y'all, and they they get they getting caught up for what they did. They're gonna get fired. Tell me more. We have here two lovers are being investigated. So look, we got a lot of lovers, family members, people involved in shit. They being investigated. That keeps coming out. A lot of people is getting investigated right now. <laughs> it's judgment season. All right. We got two, two, two on the uh, likes confirmation. I'm telling you, we've been seeing. I've been seeing 222 all day, and I just saw it right now. Look, balance being restored, 222, and look what we got here. Sudden, sudden fatality. Somebody going to pass away because they were trying to do this to you. They wanted you to pass away. They wanted you to get sick. They wanted you to get fired. They wanted you to pass away. You know, everything that's happening that you see like that is karma. Like, it's returning to sender. So, that that's somebody that tried to send that energy towards you. Look, we have a hood pharmacist, a dealer. So, look, a hood pharmacist, dealer, HIPAA laws, you know, like maybe somebody was stealing from the job as well to give to a hood pharmacist, stealing pills or stealing lean and stuff like that. Whatever they was doing, they got caught. All right. Whatever they did, they got caught and they got fired. See these two? Yeah. Look, they could have been friends with benefits. See, they were smashing and the car makes she lost her job or he lost his job because... They was, you know, fucking around with somebody and they ended up giving them pills or lean or whatever or giving them information on somebody and they got fired. All right. Somebody's blaming you because they got cut off. So we see the karmic that was mad because he's in love with you. And now we're seeing she's blaming you because they cut her off. So she probably, you know, she mad. 
talking shit about you to people. Who cares? Military background. So look, this keeps coming out. We just saw uh, somebody in the Marines. <clears throat> so military, Marines, Army, whatever. Somebody's involved in that. You could be who, who's in the Marines or in the, you know a military background. Somebody's involved with that. Tell me more. Uh, this person, you see, that's what I was saying earlier. That this karmic is mad that she got caught or he got caught. They mad because they want you to be loyal to them. But they want to keep doing them. They want to cheat. They want to keep doing them. But they want you to be loyal to them. So they mad because of that. We have a karmic Aquarius. All right. So somebody's karmic is an Aquarius. All right. Let's see. Aquarius. All right. So somebody's karmic is an Aquarius. All right. Let's see. Putin gets many women pregnant to sacrifice their children for money. That is crazy. Like, they be doing that. And, and we just picked up on that energy that somebody keeps trying to sacrifice your child for money. And it's not working, all right, for some of y'all because your child is protected, all right? It's crazy, right? They do that. Like, you be wondering sometimes. I know now I see them differently. When I be like, damn, like, that guy got mad kids. I be like, hmm. You know, I be wondering, like, hmm. You know, like, he on a mission. He know what he, he on some other shit. He on some mission shit. A lot of times it be like that. All right, this person could have a big ego. They could be very prideful, very arrogant, very controlling. Tell me more. We have the art of persuasion. Uh, they might try to, you know, persuade you to do something. And the spirit is saying it's going to be a burden. Don't even try to, you know, work out with this person or anything like that. It's not going to work. This person is a burden. They're trying to sacrifice your child behind the scenes. Like, it's crazy. Look, wants out because you want to abandon the situation. You're freeing yourself. You're escaping. They're going to try to persuade you to stay in the connection. And Spirit is saying, don't do it. It's going to be a burden. All right. We have here birthday. Maybe they're going to try to tell you to go to a birthday party. They're going to invite you. Or maybe a child's birthday party is about to happen. And they want to come, you know, like just trying to use any excuse that they can to reconcile with you. All right. Spirit is saying, continue to have your boundaries with this person. All right. Or oh, this could be your person going through this with a karmic. Yeah, look, I'm telling you, your ex is still stalking you, all right? Or like I said, the karmic could be going through this. Flip it how you need to. Look, we got stalking their ex and send a friend to watch you, and now they're in love. Can you believe this? They, they sent somebody to stalk you, and now the person that is stalking you is in love with you too. Like, what? <laughs> Let's see what else. Yo, look, you cannot make this up. You was in a trauma bond relationship with this person and you live in their head rent free. They even got people watching you and the people is falling in love with you. All right. <laughs> all right. We have evicted. Yeah. So we saw evicted, uh, you know, the, the, the restraining order. We saw the other card about somebody moving out. So this could be that, this, you know, your person is walking away from this karmic. For those of y'all that are in a twin flame situation and this person is still in a karmic situation, this is what's happening. You know, this karmic is getting evicted. They're walking away. They found out the karmic was cheating on them. They're out of here. All right. For, for those of y'all that are um, dealing with the karmic masculine, you know, this person is ready to, you know, to just get out of your life. Okay. Spirit just wants you to be aware of what's going on because they're trying to... Uh, Find another way to persuade you to stay with them, all right? So just be aware of that, all right? For some of y'all, we also have that there's going to be a sudden fatality. Somebody's going to end up passing away because they were sending death spells towards you and yours, okay? We keep seeing that they were trying to sacrifice your child, and they're going to pay for that, all right? Energy, you cannot, you cannot destroy energy, you know? It's just going to go back to sender. It's going to go back to where it came from because you are protected. So that's what's going to happen to, uh, you know, them. All right, and I hope that they don't have children because that's, you know, that could be what's going to happen. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Trying to, yeah, look, these are people that are envious and jealous of you. We have here that they could be trying to trigger you, okay? So they could be trying to get you mad, to lower your vibration, or again, somebody that's just trying to trigger you, emotionally trigger you so that you could get back with them. All right, look, we keep picking up on this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. All right, look, we got again, Earth sign, Masculine. And then we got Earth sign again. So you could be this Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or this is, you know, somebody that's going to come in that they could be in, in one of these signs. And they're going to try to come back. Look, they're still pressed over old shit. They cannot get over it. They're mad that you moved on. They cannot get over you. <laughs> Look, and they're blocked. Yo, that is so crazy. You could have blocked this person. All right, with this, you are protected. Spirit is saying that you are protected from whatever bippity bopping bullshit that they doing behind the scenes. All right, they 
keep on they i feel like they're trying to get you back in so that this shit could work all right we saw that earlier that they 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 cannot do what they're trying to do all right so you just got to keep protecting your energy all right look we got an old friend for some of y'all is an old friend that's trying to come back and again for some of y'all this person cheated with your friend friend family roommate whatever tell me more Look, justice system. I'm telling you, this person is going to end up getting locked out. This keeps coming out. We have here a year from now. I don't know. For some of y'all, everything will be over and done with in a year from now. You'll be... Sta I don't know if you want to wait that long, but we have a year from now. All right, we have here. Step into your power. Stop engaging with childish qualities. All right? So that's what you did. I feel like that's what you did. That's what this person is trying to come back. That's why they're pressed because you are trying to, like, move on. You know, you're not dealing with this shit. We have here, yeah, look, you see what I'm saying? You're not dealing with this shit. It says here, today let go of people who are committed to misunderstanding you for your mental health. You let go of this person for your mental health. You were like, listen, I'm not dealing with this. I'm out, okay? And this person is still pressed. They're mad that you walked away, that you never came back. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're really pressed, and they're going to try to get you back in. Wait, that's too many. Yeah, I just saw pull your energy back. So definitely, Spirit is saying, pull your energy back. Don't let this person back in. All right, yeah, it's only it's one-sided love. It's not real, you know? You have real love for this person, and they really on some bullshit. So, look, your business will flourish. Uh, it keeps coming out something about what you do for money. They keep trying to attack it. Uh, for some of y'all, this could be your own ex-lover. Like, they really are trying to attack your money, all right? I know I had a client that her own baby daddy was doing this shit to her. Like, that shit was an eye-opener to me. I was like, wow. You know, like, he wanted her in poverty, um and and he he's doing the most right now to try to do that you know and he gets money from doing that like he's able to siphon her energy and i don't know how they do that they get money off of it though and that could be what's going on that this lover is trying to get back into your energy because they was making money from being in your energy and they mad yeah just on spiritual gifts they could want your spiritual gifts yep they're trying to get in your energy spirit is saying to cleanse yourself all right you are protected all right, but you have to continue your spiritual hygiene. All right, so spirit is saying take a sea salt bath, burn some sage, get some palo santo, get out in nature, do what you got to do, meditation, just clear your energetic body because this is a karmic lover that was, I feel like they're addicted to your energy and they're trying to get back in. Tell me more. Oof. Look, pull your energy back. And like I said, you could be seeing angel numbers. That's how you know you are in alignment. All right, so that's what they don't want. They don't want you to be in alignment. All right, new city, you could be moving and they're really trying to hold you back. They're like, nah, you ain't going nowhere. Look, 707 on the clock. You could be seeing 77, like I said, angel numbers. This person, the, you know, they don't want you to move or they don't want you to pull your energy back for forever. All right, so they're holding on for dear life, but just keep on cleansing yourself. Tell me more. Yeah, look, this one-sided love, you're being protected from this shit. Weapons will form, but they're not going to prosper. And they frustrated. You see what I'm saying? They frustrated because the voodoo ain't working, so they're going to try to come back in. Keeps coming out in different ways. All right, let's see. Go within for clarity. Wow, we have here police investigation. So somebody could be really going deep. This uh private investigator, this uh detective, okay, they could be getting clarity, going you know deep into something. All right. All right, so look, we have here, go within so that you can receive clarity. And we have a diet change. Eat more fruits, drink more water, all right? For, for some of y'all, you know, eat less meat or don't eat no meat. I know when I stopped, that's when I started becoming more in alignment and all that. And I've been, you know, vegan ever since. So for some of y'all, that's what that means. You know, if you want more clarity, you want to get more confirmation, you want to get more in alignment, continue to do what you're doing. If you're already doing this, because again, with the angel numbers, it was talking about you being in alignment already. Um, or spirit is saying, you know, start doing these things to get more in alignment. Cause it's not just one thing that you got to do. You got to keep on ascending. All right. So keep on going within, keep on cleansing your energy. All right. You're going to be receiving a lot of clarity. You're going to be celebrating. If you are moving to a new city with the celebrating car, you're going to be celebrating. All right. Look, fake account. And look, earlier we saw here that they're going to be texting, texting you, uh, messaging you. From fake pages, from fake accounts, because they're so mad that you moved to a new city or that you are moving to a new city and they just so mad that they cannot control you anymore. Like, this is so crazy. Look, they don't want, exactly, they don't want you to live and let live. They don't want to live and let live. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they, look, you cannot make this up. They are obsessed. They don't want to live and let live. They are obsessed right now, bro. 
That is so crazy. That's what spirit is saying. You got to pull your energy back. This person does not want to see you win. You cannot let this person have SEX with you. Don't let them connect with you, all right? So let's see what else. So yeah, this uh, police investigation, all right? They on some bullshit. All right, so let's pull from here. Like the live. Thank you so much. All right, Holy Spirit, let's see. What else? What else is going on here? What does the collective need to be aware of? The letter C could be significant. First name, middle name, last name. The Carmen got people overseas doing voodoo for her or doing voodoo for him. We picked up on that last time. They was calling their abuela, their nana, their grandma, you know, to do this, do that, and it ain't working. Look at that, for pay, all right? They paying people to do this. This karmic is in a one-sided competition. You're not, you're not doing none of this. You are just minding your business, focusing on your ascension. All right. This karmic is competing because she wanna come, she wanna tie herself to this person. She's competing to tie herself to this divine masculine who's bringing some type of um spiritual uh you know uh blessings because we have spiritual spiritual poverty she don't got no assistance so she's somebody that cannot manifest so she needs to be like an energy vampire she needs to attach herself to divine masculines or you know flip the roles it could be somebody that's trying to um to attach themselves to a divine feminine because they cannot manifest. So they want to tie themselves to somebody who's financially abundant. So that's what this karmic is trying to do. That's why she's sending all these spells and got people doing overseas work and all this bullshit because she's trying to lock somebody in. We already saw from the beginning, this person is still going to move out. They're still going to move forward. They're still going to break up. It's not going to work. We have here trying to secure a green card with marriage. There's a karmic that is trying to secure a green card. All right. For some of y'all, Poverty is the same thing. Like, she don't want to go back to her country. She want to stay here. And she's trying to lock him in by any means necessary. It ain't going to work. Look, infidelity. I'm telling you. It's like she's doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, you cheated. You out here for the streets doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look. This, this feminine energy was being like this. Tell me more. She was cheating. So, it's like, like he's like, Bridge, I'm not going to not gonna keep you here. I'm sending you back. Like, fuck out of here. <laughs> And again, if it's not, uh, you know, somebody that needs a green card, it's just a karmic that is trying. Yeah, look, this is somebody's boyfriend. They're trying to trap them because they, they need this person to survive is what spirit is trying to say It's a survival thing. It's a trauma bond. This is not real love. This is somebody trying to survive either with a green card or because they cannot manifest a motherfucking cheeseburger. Like I said, they can't even manifest a cheeseburger. They got to tie themselves to people like this. Look, so we had a love triangles going on. We have the letter E. Again, somebody was infidelity, cheating on somebody. There was a love triangle. She betrayed him for some of y'all, like I, like I saw here, with his friend, with his family member, or his roommate. Tell me more. It's like out of all the wieners in the world, you want to hit close to home. You shouldn't cheat anyways, but it's like, damn, bitch. All right, we have you on your birthday. Damn, that, that would be even worse if she did it on, on his birthday. <laughs> he found out that she did it on his birthday or something. Something happened on somebody's birthday. Somebody's a life path, number one. Uh, your birthday could be on the first. A Capricorn could be involved or an Aquarius. Tell me more. Somebody, I don't know, maybe somebody went for, the, for on your birthday. You went on a trip. You went on a cruise or something. And this Or this person, when you did this with this person, they cheated while they was doing this. We saw somebody that they were cheating while you was out to work. So take it how it resonates. Declutter. And we have laptop and PC. Maybe you found out that this person, somebody found out something on the laptop. All right. Maybe they was decluttering something. I don't know. All right. We have an owner is involved. And look, a, a birthday party, an event or a celebration. So again, I don't know. Somebody got caught on your birthday or on their birthday cheating or something like what is going on here and now they want to declutter they want to get rid of this farming they you know they don't want to deal with this uh clutter in their life anymore somebody could be the owner of a cruise of a, of a boat or something we have here sending someone towards you to holler at you so that you can drop your guard down and the ops can spiritually attack you Look at this. So we saw a lot of fake page energy coming out. We saw that they were sending people to watch you and the people is falling in love with you, whoever they send sending to you. So it's like, it's like, it's not working, but they're going to try to get this person to holler at you. This person already likes you, but they're going to try to holler at you so that 
you can lower your your guard, you know, so that you can maybe give him information or give her information. And this is what the karmic is planning in their little tiny brain, okay? So just keep, you know, blocking people. Tell me more. That's what they that's what they think is gonna work, but it's like like I said, you are intuitive, you know, like it's either you're going to get the download or spirit is going to guide you here to give you the download and let you know somebody going to try to come through. They're going to send you a message or something. Be alert. For some of y'all, is this psycho karmic? We saw that they're going to write to you from a fake page. All right. <laughs> and they could be trying to like get you to give them some type of information or lower your guard so that they could try to like do some type of spiritual attack. All right. We see that they're desperately trying to get into your energy. That's what spirit is saying, trying, you know, to pull your energy back. And look, trying to tear you down. I'm telling you, they're on a mission. Look, you cannot make this up. This damn stalker is on a mission to try to tear you down. All right? Stolen. This person could have stole something. All right? Again, we see that they're on the investigation. They could be a thief. They could be out here doing this shit on the regular. All right? So, let's get some cards uh, regarding this pro. All right? So, let's get some cards uh, regarding this per Holy Spirit. Tell us about this person trying to message the collective. Oh, relax, relax. I'm doing a reading. All right, so let's see. This person, yeah, the person that is in despair right now. We picked up on the nine of swords earlier that they're stressed right now. They're going through anxiety. You know, look what it says here, reaching out. You cannot make this up. They right now, they need your healing energy. They need your abundant energy. I don't know what they need, but they need it. They need to get in, all right? Again, like it's gonna restore them if they get into your energy. This person is in despair right now. This could be the person that has AIDS, all right? We saw despair with that AIDS card, all right? So just protect your energy. This person is, is going through it right now, all right? Uh, look, we have here right now, this person, is, it says instability, you know? Like, instability and silence, they, they're suffering in silence right now is what I'm getting with that. They're suffering in silence. They're mentally unstable. They have no control of their life or their private parts, all right? For some of y'all, they try to sacrifice you, and that shit did not work. All right, a Virgo could be involved. Yeah, they could have went to a practitioner with this. Yeah, look, for some of y'all, this could be the Karmisha right here, the Empress in the reverse. She, or, you know, like I said, flip it how you need to. It's a masculine too. They went to this practitioner. The Hermit card is like a practitioner. In the reverse, it's like a practitioner that works in the dark. So this person could also be a Virgo. They went to this practitioner that works in the dark to do the Seven of Swords, what I said earlier, so that you don't break free. The seven of swords, like I said, it was, you know, some type of scheming. You see where we have here, strategy, betrayal, deceit. You know, like they was doing this behind the scenes, going to this practitioner to try to sacrifice you. But with this card in the reverse, they wasn't able to sacrifice you. So now this person is trying to get into your energy by any means necessary. They're right now in despair. All right. So you just need to right now just avoid everybody right now. Uh, like I've been saying for the longest just uh you know deal you know with um with with the uh, with, with with team celebrate right now all right uh so i'm trying to see the comments hold on i'm getting distracted let me see grand rising grand rising girl where you at 7 7 p.m over here you said who has who has aids so from what i saw here the person that has aids is is a karmic lover that is connected to you that cheated or, you know, to the collective, because it, it don't have to be you, take or resonate, people doesn't. But they cheated with somebody with the collective's family member, somebody that they call bro, their best friend, their homie, their roommate. They cheated with that person, and they got, they both got AIDS. That shit came out so clear that they are in despair, all right? And, it, you know, if it's not AIDS, it could just be an STD, all right? Because I have other cards that talk about other STDs, but the one that came out was AIDS out of all of them. Uh, so what is this inactive shit? Hold on. Back to this TikTok shit. I'm not being inactive if I'm, if I'm writing. All right. I'm back. I had to verify. All right. So let's see what else. Yeah. So somebody definitely got an STD. All right. So let's see. I'm going to pull some more cards and then I'm going to close it out. Okay. So let's pull from here. Yeah, look, Archangel Michael is standing on their necks. Stay alert to stay alive. Absolutely. Stay alert so you don't catch nothing. Again, the blue jay is at my window. So, Jay, 
could be significant. First name, middle name, last name. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What is this? Hold on. Somebody's dad's girlfriend is involved in this somehow? Or dad's wife? Tell me more. All right, it says here dad's girlfriend or his wife is involved. So this could be somebody's uh, stepmom. All right, so seven, July, uh, seven birthday could be significant. All right, tell me more. Again, seven of swords, you know, trying to be sneaky, trying to be manipulative, underhanded behavior and shit like that behind the scenes. It says here, every time that you orgasm, you're losing your manifestation power. Somebody's doing sex magic right now. So don't orgasm. You got to right now hold everything back. I know it sounds crazy, but you got to. All right. None of that. Celebrate and don't do nothing right now because look what's going on. The people be on some weird shit. Somebody's going to pass away from gun violence. All right. We already saw that something's going to happen. Somebody's going to end up in prison. Look at this. Prison, gun violence. Somebody got an Airbnb. Uh, when I wrote this down, it was because somebody could have, could have gotten an Airbnb with your information. And you're going to find out about this. You know, they were making money with a property that they stole from you or something like that. Uh, this could also be somebody has an Airbnb. Or somebody's going to go to an Airbnb and get locked up. And look, at night. <laughs> at night, this is going to happen. All right, tell me more of these spirit. We have coins, all right? So coins is telling me that somebody, again, they, this person is trying to get into your energy. If they get into your house, they're going to leave a coin somewhere in your house. The reason that they do this is because they put energy into the coin and then they could, they could siphon from your energy. It's like leaving something that is like marking their territory, all right? I, I, I've always spoken about this, that a family member tried to do this shit with me, try to leave that shit in my, on, on my altar. Like, bitch, how dare you? How dare you? All right, we have Maine, Maryland, or Massachusetts that is significant for somebody. You could be from there. Somebody could be there right now. Take it how it resonates. Tell me more. Like the live, please, and thank you. Appreciate it. And if you want to drop something on my cash app, it's right there, Ty. Thank you very much. We have these states now. Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, or Iowa. Take it how it resonates. We have here the letter S. We have here, didn't I say somebody was like a nurse or they worked at a hospital or something like that? We have a hospice nurse or something that's happening to somebody that they're going to end up at the hospice. Uh, we did see that somebody is going, unfortunately, to get cancer. And that's because, you know, that's part of their karma. Wherever that card is at, it was here somewhere. That's part of their karma because they were trying to send some type of death spell towards you. Well, it came out before, so it's somewhere there. But that could be that, that somebody is going to unfortunately get cancer, all right? And like I said, these states are significant for somebody. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Get the letters deck. Spirit is saying, throw some letters out. So let's give, let's give some letters. This person has uh, inner childhood wounds, all right? So let me get the letters deck. I was going to ask y'all if y'all wanted me to put it out, but I guess Spirit is saying, do it. All right, so let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> you say you are a nurse and you are a Navy vet. Well, girl, grab your popcorn. This could be for you. Because I saw a uh, military, military background, Navy, all of that. Yeah, that all resonates. And nurse, so yeah. All right, Holy Spirit. And I saw HIPAA law. So think about HIPAA law. All right. So can you tell everybody right now in the chat, can you sue this person, like if somebody gives your information out, can you sue them? Because I heard that, that you could sue them and they could get locked up. So can you please verify that? All right, Holy Spirit, let me get some, some letters. Who's involved in this? We have the letter M. Tell me more. You say you had a dream. She came into your house and left her shoes. That's interesting because I was watching uh, something about that stuff. Like, you know, people be talking about spell work and stuff. And the lady was talking about that she did a spell on a guy and she took his shoes, you know, to have him like dominated, you know, like she was trying to put stuff in his shoes. Um, so if they're trying to give you a gift, you know, like buy you, they're trying to buy you some shoes or something, don't accept nothing from this person. All right. We have here the letter S. 
We have the letter B. Remember, this is first name, middle name, last name. Tell me more. We have uh, LC. So this right now just reminded me of LLC. You know, like, again, this business that came out uh, with the uh, car wash. Or like I said, uh, the church. You know, funnel funneling something through a business. All right, we have, yeah, look, LLC, confirmation. All right, we have here A. We have G, so more G. G came out before. We have R again. Let me see what fell on the floor. We have the letter C. Okay. You said TLC. TLC could be that too. Um, TLC, like a taxi driver. You could be, yeah, somebody could have a TLC um what's the other one cdl that came out the other day somebody that was a truck driver all right we have p look cpr so again like the nurse tell me more i we have q we have q again first name middle name last name nickname p v n M. One more. F. Let me just get one more. <laughs> only fans. Somebody could be on only fans. <laughs> All right, but that's what I got here. Let me see what's at the bottom. We have R again. Okay, so let me just take those two out. H and R. Okay, somebody could be working in the H and R department. All right, somebody's initials could be you know H R whatever. Okay. All right, y'all. So that's what I got here. You said Quinte Quinteros, Fabian, Hector. Yeah, Hector. HR. Yeah, Hector. Hilda. That's interesting. Quinteros, Fabian, Hector. Yeah, Hector. HR. Yeah, Hector. Hilda. That's interesting. Confirmation. I am going to post this. Give it time because I've been realizing that this should take like an hour, an hour and a half, sometimes two hours you know, for me to be able to download it and post it. All right. So, you know, just be patient. Thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you for the hearts. 